Welcome to Rautas Reviews and today we have here some heavy metal. So there's a quite a few bands with the very same name as I'm gonna show you or tell you about today. The band name is Argus with A-R-G-U-S and uh, those who know how to use metal archives can soon find out that there are quite a few bands with uh, being heavy metal and having the same name. So how to figure out which is which, it sometimes takes time. Google it up or just click through the, all the bands and you'll find out. Uh, this one, however, is from United States and the album is called From Fields of Fire. It's the fourth album uh, by the very band and uh, they have done their music from uh, 2005. So, Fields of Fire uh, represents classic heavy metal made with some epicness as well as doomy elements. And as we can uh, see when we take a look at this uh, cover image as, and as well as the insides, uh, this is pretty, you know, old school feeling. Just take a look at this uh, twofold uh, image that shows you this kind of a barren uh, black uh, uh, landscape with lava or whatever. This could be straight from 95, uh, 85 or something like that. There's not much else inside except for this bad image that shows you that, that these guys are for real. So, this is all it basically has. Just uh, background stuff with the uh, song names and titles and uh, lyrics inside. So, this is from Fields of Fire in all its entirety. So, music-wise, it's all about heavy metal and uh, very classic sense. Uh, however, there is some kind of a doomy feelings, uh, which then again counterbalance when it comes to the more epic elements, you know, having these high moments and uh, killer riffs here and there. There are some badass solos as, as well and lead guitars, which then again spice things up in a very nice manner. Argus is not exactly the type of band that creates whole new subgenre or is a milestone band of the, the whole epic heaviness, but it's nevertheless one of those bands that manage to sound as a retro heavy band and still being able to, you know, create their own kind of music, their own atmosphere and making all the play, uh, pieces fall together in right, on all the right places. As you might know, if you are a fan of the genre or if you just follow the news, read the reviews and so on, the lots of uh, doom slash heavy metal bands that kind of uh, copy older bands, be it sound, be it vocal work, or just, you know, the ways that riffs are structured or songs composed, it seems that many are just, you know, having leftovers for lunch. And the, the idea is that these are just boring copycats, most of them anyway. I mean, uh, meanwhile, in, back in the 70s or even, even early 80s, you could just, you know, succeed with, with not that shabby vocals, to be honest. Listen to those old albums. There are a couple of really, really mediocre vocalists, which are, to this day, anything special. They're just, you know, doing their stuff and because they were the pioneers of the genres that, you know, later on sprouted from all these ideas, it was only the the time that those kind of ideas and elements or, you know, uh, ways to create that music could have succeeded. If they nowadays and you try to do just with average show, it's not like it's gonna do you a favor. August, however, is a uh, different breed because they have good vocal works they have nice ideas when it comes to you know riffs or even the details of the music and it's also uh, very nice that they are not just you know one trick pony they could just you know repeat their very basic heavy metal ideas about this epic heavy metal style and just be with it but they have uh, enough variety to make it all sound interesting, even though it's been done a million times before during the past 40 years or so. And the last thing uh, that really uh, kind of 
gives me the nice vibe is that there are no leftover songs. Maybe there are some parts which could have been dropped off to make this whole uh, album a bit more compact. But it is uh, as it is, it, and it is a pretty good album because, you know, like I said, there are no clear weak links. There are no riffs or songs you want to just skip. It's a strong, solid release from a genre that is anything but dead. So, from Fields of Fire, as classic and uh, unoriginal it may be, check this out if you are into death, uh, death metal. What the fuck I'm talking Heavy metal and or doom metal. This is the stuff of uh, classic classic genre of metal that should be worth while your time. As always, thank you for watching and all the comments, rants or whatever, drop on the box below here on YouTube or on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and stay metal. Bye.